Hi everyone, I have a bit of a mystery today. I honestly say, what I'm looking at, I have the faintest idea what it is, what it was used for, how old it is, or anything about it. So I'm hoping someone out there might just happen to know. First of all, it looks like a lamp. I can show you the, the length of it is in good old inches, nine inches length. The width, or how fat it is, as you can see, is um, about almost, not quite three inches, it's about two and three quarter inches. Now, this is an item I picked up off of eBay. It was not clear what it was. It looked like a lamp. The description just didn't exist. So I looked at it and I thought, well, I don't know. It could be nothing or it could be something rather interesting. So I put a bid in and I won it at the first shout. There was no other bidders. And I got it. The thing is, um, I'm going to pick up the... Hold on, I want to just pick the holder up. Let me drop this down. I'm coming straight back. I've got to turn the bloody thing off now. Balls it all up, so... As I say, sorry about that. But if I turn the camera off, it makes it very difficult to, it will restart, but it restarts on a different program and it confuses me. So the best way was just to drop it down and get the holder. This is the actual holder that it came with. It's, um, it looks a few years old. Let's be honest about it. It does look a few years old. It's the normal a GES or Goliath Edison screw cap. I don't know what that is in the other fitting. I can never remember numbers, as I say, I'm number blind. Um, it has two hefty wires that come out and they terminate on these little termination blocks. It's well made. Obviously quite old. And the lamp itself, well I say lamp, it's, it's not a lamp, would screw in there. And that's how it was shown on eBay. That in the actual holder. Now let's have a little closer look inside. I keep saying it's not a lamp. Obviously there must be a reason why I'm saying that. Let's have a closer look. A real close look inside. It's a normal pinch. It's got a number written on the pinch. 93. It looks like 93B. The normal dummet type. Well, I say dummet type. What it's looking at it, I don't think it is. Dummet wise, normally a ready colour. This just, it just looks like a copper, so I don't know, but it, it must be dumb because it, it has got the sealing tube inside there, so it has got to be a dumb wire. Uh, there's no damage, it's beautifully made. The cap itself, you'll notice, has like um, a split. Now this happens with brass when it gets old, so that gives you an idea that it's quite old. The soldering on the side there has like a multi-stranded wire which goes inside and up through the pinch. Now the wires come up and onto it, it looks like he's pushed a push fit of these two extended lead-ins. Now, if 
we look carefully, that there would be where a normal filament would be. But as you can see, let's see if I can get it over a bit better. It's a flattened wire. Let me move this over. Let's get the best view we can because it's, I think it's rather interesting. There, well, there's the flattened section. It could be a bimetallic strip that did come to mind, but unfortunately I can't see if it's actually made of two metals. There is a bow in it. And the other interesting thing is attached to this top wire is like a pointer. There it is, a pointer. It goes to a, a, a like a needle sharp point. I'm trying to get as close as I can. Now, it looks like it may be possible that as this strip is heated up with an extraneous source, it will be made to touch that needle. But looking at it, I don't think it's possible. There is like a gap there, the distinct gap. So uh, that idea is gone. I thought, well, perhaps it's there to touch on it and alter the actual resistance. But I, I don't think it is now. So if you can bear with me, you'll probably see that I have not got a, a clue what this was used for or anything about it so you know I leave it with you hopefully someone out there will say oh yes that's a so-and-so but until then this would would have been a marvelous mystery item but I will not put a mystery item in if I don't know what it is it wouldn't be fair so there we are everyone Both sides of this strip is shiny. It looks like the same material both sides, so it may not be a, a bimetallic strip. I don't know. So I'll leave it with you. Have a good look. And if anyone has got any ideas what it is, if they could come back, I'll be very, very grateful. Everything else is normal. It's the normal large screw cap or base the holder that it goes into is an old brass um well the inside's brass but the no it's copper actually inside the outer is made of porcelain you've got this number on it 10h8031 which doesn't appear to to mean anything but i would say the the wires or the cables that go into it are very heavy duty as if they take quite a bit of current so i'm just wondering it's obviously low voltage um, i haven't put any voltage on it there is continuity through that lamp but i just you know it's just a mystery i like myst mysteries in some cases this this one i certainly do so as i say any ideas please give us a shout and i will leave it with you anyway thanks for watching any comments please make please subscribe and once again thank you thank you